A word on Nathan Gore, we mentioned him a second ago. He's got a big fight with Daniel Dubois coming up. Massive, massive, massive fight. Uh, and, and huge credit to both the lads that it's actually been made and is going forward at this stage in their career. Uh, how do you see Nathan Gorman versus Daniel Dubois turning out? I think it's a good fight. Um, it's a good British title fight. Two undefeated young prospects. Um, it reminds me of uh, Tyson Fury versus Derek Chisora for the British title back in 2011. We're both 14 and 0. Chisora was higher ranked and higher rated and higher touted than me back then. Just the same as Dubois is over Nathan. I can even ask Frank. Frank favoured um, Old Del Boy to beat me and everybody else in the country did as well, unfortunately. But it's pretty much similar to this. Chubby guy versus ripped guy. And, but although Chisora didn't turn up ripped, he turned up quite chubby, actually. So <laughs> that was kind of funny. But uh, yeah, I just, I just see like, I, I fancy uh, Nathan to, to beat him. Nathan Styles similar in a way to yours and he doesn't box like what a heavyweight box does he? Uh, he he's fast and quick and moves it's not not the everyday he's not ponderous is he? he's light on his feet he can turn defense into offense and that's what you're going to need when you're boxing Dubois and you know Ricky's although Ricky was a fantastic fight I think people underestimate Ricky as a trainer as well you know not to forget he's won world titles as a trainer as well so you know he, uh, he wouldn't have put Nathan in the fight if he didn't believe he could win it and how do you see it going? Um, yeah, I fancy Nathan. You know, like I said, he can turn defence into offence, and you know that's a uh, big part of it. You always see people when they're training practicing offence and punching. And how often do you see people practicing defence? But whenever you watch Ricky and Nathan training, they mix defence and offence together, and I think that could end up being the difference that Nathan's better defensively. Big Joe Joyce also on the card. He was uh, he was down there in Stevenage when Billy Joe was fighting. He's in a rush to get to your level, really, isn't he? He's in a rush to get to that top tier level. Bryant Jennings is a very, very difficult fight, though, isn't it? I think it's a, it's a lose-lose situation, and I'm just being brutally honest. Because if Joe looks terrible against Jennings, then he'll get slack, flack. If he doesn't knock him out early, he'll get stick. And he's a fleet-footed, tough fight. Jennings has is, is been in there with some good fighters, hasn't he? Yeah, he's famously great. What he said, but what, he, what, he, what, what, what also as well, if Joe does get to him early, people are just going to say, "Oh, Jenny, he's, he's shot anyway, he's finished," you know. But that's the same with every knockout win, though, isn't it? Is that the kind of the the problem with heavyweight boxing that like it, any punch can knock anyone out? Yeah, of course it can happen, but look, it's, like you said, they're in a rush and it's showing it. If he puts on a good performance against Jennings, fair play to him. He's, showing that he's on the right tracks for sure. So if, if, if he doesn't beat Jennings, then you know, maybe they need to have a look at, at slowing it down. But I think Joe should get the job done. If you were 33 and Joe Sorry, should... Sorry, Ben. Did you say if he doesn't beat Jennings, he needs to slow it down? Slow it down. What do you mean? I know, listen, I know he's... So old. If, he gets, if he loses to Jennings... If he was to get beat by Jennings, which I don't think will happen, I think Joe will come for it. Yeah. But if he was to get beat by Jennings, you know, I think... What would you do then? You know, he's... Obviously, he is... How old is he, 33, 34? You know... He can't lose. That's not an option. <laughs> is obviously, that, is losing is being not very kind. Obviously, losing is not an option, but look, it's, uh, it's... It's a test for Joe. It is a test for Joe. And they're putting him in a, in a tough fight. Stylistically, obviously, it's, it could prove to be a tough fight. I think Joe will get the job done, but, you know... Yeah, I'm only saying it's a tough fight because stylistically, I'm not saying Brian Jennings is a better fighter than Joe or he's going to be a tough man because he's so tough and he's unbeatable. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying stylistically, it's a terrible matchup. You've got someone who's slick and can move good and got quick hands against someone who's not so slick and doesn't move great, but very big and strong and powerful. Experience, round management, those sorts of yeah. things. But I think, I, I, me personally, I'd get him someone who's massive. It's the biggest heavyweights we could find. Biggest, toughest, strongest men. Look the part. They ain't going to run away. They're going to come for a fight. And he'd knock him out because he's a bulldozer. Juggernaut. And if he loses? If he loses, forget about it. You reckon? Yeah. 
It doesn't Can't matter. lose. Come on. How are you going to lose to a man who's just been knocked out? It's the last fight. Mm. And yeah. lost every time he stepped up. No disrespect to Jennings, but he lost against Klitschko, lost against Ortiz, lost against Rivers. So he should beat someone like that. But it's a stylistically a tough fight, in my opinion. But if he loses to Jennings, 